Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is the September-October catch-up video, I guess. Um, so I started, obviously, originally I was doing them monthly and then I said I was going to do them bi-monthly because there's just kind of not a lot going on in my life, to be honest. That it, monthly, I don't think I'd have anything to say. Well, not much to say. Not that I'll probably have much to say to say anyway, but I wanted to just be like, hey, so it doesn't go too long between these. Um, obviously, the first thing would be, hello everybody who's new to the channel. There's, it's gone up quite considerably since the last time I did one of these. When I did this, last I had a look at the last video, I was on uh, 392 subs, I think, and now we're, as of the moment, on 794. So that's a heck of a lot of growth in two months. That's great. So thank you, everybody. And obviously, thank you, everybody that has been subscribed to me for a while and going ongoing and new people and everybody and just basically you guys will rock so thanks I appreciate the support <laughs> it's nice to hear from you all and yeah I appreciate it it's great um so what's happened since the last video really other than that uh obviously we finished Uncharted the first one so that was a lot of fun um I really enjoyed that the characters are a lot of fun like even from that there was a hell of a lot of shooting in that one it was just like pretty much constant fights but um, that's one thing I'm noticing with the second one, there's obviously still loads of fights, but it's, there's a lot more kind of plot around it rather than it being just like huge, 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 huge fights all the time. So that's really cool. I'm enjoying the second one a lot. Um, <laughs> we've just had, uh, spoilers if you haven't seen the, any of the game, um, Elena has just come back into it. So that's going to be an interesting little situation for, uh, poor old Nate, uh, old flame and a new flame they're really a good combo in those kind of stories so that'll be interesting but I'm really enjoying it at the moment it's, it's a great game um and I can't wait to see what's going to kind of happen in the rest of this one and also how the gameplay is going to change in the next two as well so that'll be really cool to see and it's a lot of fun I have to I'm, I'm missing all the treasure though which is frustrating for my treasure hunting self it's treasure hunting that's not a word <laughs> But me, I love treasure, so not having all the treasures is just like, yep, okay, fine. <laughs> I'm going to talk a bit about this, but yes. Oh, I should probably also say, my cold's almost gone, yay! <laughs> it's finally almost gone. This thing's been dragging out for, what, like, two weeks or something crazy? It's ridiculous. It's just, like, just will not go away, but it's fine. It's almost gone. I've almost, I've got my voice back, but most of the, so, you know, that's cool. Um, so I've also been playing Medieval on the channel, the remake, which I personally am loving. It's not going to be a long series. I think it will only probably be, uh, I reckon with the number of levels that are left, I think there'll be three more episodes, so it'll go up to seven. Although I don't know how long the seventh would be, because... I don't think, like, because that would probably have two levels in it, but they're not hugely long levels. So I don't know. I'll see how I get on with that, because I've not played it yet, so I don't know how long they'll be. Um, but I'm really enjoying it, because it's just... It was a game that I loved, um, just because it's it's hack and slash, but it's just, like, light-hearted silliness, and so Daniel Fortescue is quite a uh, ridiculous character, and I love him. <laughs> basically and the game looks amazing so I'm really happy to be playing it and it's so much better to play it on my PS4 because the last time I played it uh, was on my Vita because I thought I'll just you know have it handheld easy peasy and had forgotten that the Vita has touchpad on the back it doesn't have obviously R2 L2 um, so it uses touchpad on the back for the camera controls ridiculously hard to do because like half the time it wouldn't work and then like I didn't really because I didn't realize that I'd forgotten about the touchpad because I don't use it very often like when I first started playing it I just remember the camera was just like spinning around and around and around crazily and I was like what the heck is happening here and then realized that it was because of the touchpad on the back so I was then having to like the touchpad I don't know if you've seen it where is it um so I just grabbed it so the touchpad on the back is literally like that whole shiny bit in between so I was having to hold it like this, like just on the edges, and then like, so it's ridiculous, like trying to play like that. <laughs> and the thumbsticks don't work in the game, so it was just the directional pads. It made it so much harder. Um, it was ridiculous. Parts of the 
the pool, sorry, of the ancient dead, which is the next level I'll be playing. <laughs> I, I could not jump in it. I've cut off all the time. It was ridiculous. But yeah, so the PS4 version has been a dream to play. I've been loving it. It's a shame that the... Because when I was playing on this, it was because I'd bought the... Um, they did like a backwards compatible one. Um, but I think they must have done it when the PS... Three, well, it was on the PS3 because it's not compatible on the PS4. You could only play it on the PS3 or your Vita. Or I don't know if it was on PSP as well. So I was just like, oh. So I'm very happy for that. Um, and, you know, a few trophies. That's always fun. Get all my collectibles. See everything in fancy shininess. It's delightful. I love it. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of the levels as well. So that's cool. There's one, the one, my one that I'm looking forward to the most, I think is seeing the boss in the Crystal Caves map, which will probably, will that be in the next one? Might be on episode five. Because I think it's the ancient pools of the dead, or pools of the ancient dead. Then there's the sunken village type one. And then it might be the Crystal Caves after that, so that might be on five. Um, yeah, so that's been really cool. Oh, and also obviously, Happy Halloween, because that's today. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's Halloween today. Like, I just, I, I know it's the last day of the month, which is why I was doing this video and I was planning to do this video, but I just kept forgetting, and the only time I've remembered was right now, and also uh, I went earlier to the hairdressers, and they were all dressed up in fancy dress, which was really cool. So I walked in and I was just like, Halloween, yep, cool, I remember that. <laughs> So uh, yeah, what are you guys doing for Halloween? At the moment, I am debating whether or not I want to go out for a bonfire night, which is probably a no, or hide in the house with all the lights off until all the trick-or-treaters have gone to bed, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll watch like Hocus Pocus or something and just chill out. That's probably, that sounds more ideal to me. It's tradition. <laughs> <laughs> I have no snacks in my house, so I can't open the door to all the little demons that are weird wandering around. It's a bad idea. <laughs> um, so what else? What else? What else? What else? Um, in terms of what's coming up on the channel, I suppose, uh, obviously I want to play Life is Strange 2, but I I do want to play it at the moment because uh, I can kind of time it to go out when the fourth episode comes out in... Fifth episode, fourth episode, the next episode. I can't remember if that's the fourth or the fifth now. I haven't really been keeping track because I haven't played the others. So it must be the fifth episode, is it? I don't know. The last episode, anyway. <laughs> that's coming out in December. So I kind of want to play it now to the time for that. But because there's Death Stranding coming out in just over a week and I'm playing Uncharted 2 and kind of want to go straight into Uncharted 3 afterwards, I'm not sure if I'll be able to um, play Life is Strange as well because I don't really want to go up to a third series on the channel um, because that would just slow down other things unless I doubled up. I don't know. I'm a little bit torn. What do you guys think? I want to continue. There's just too much at the moment that I want to play, <laughs> basically. I'm spoiled for choice and I don't know. I probably feasibly could play and do it at the same time as another video, like another series. But I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll have a look at my, my like, kind of schedule. It's literally just an Excel sheet. I've just been like, I could do this this day thing. <laughs> really sad. But <laughs> I'll, I'll have a look at that and see what I think I might be able to feasibly do. Um, but let me go know what you guys think as well, because obviously you're going to be the ones watching it. I can pause at the end of Uncharted 2 and start playing Life is Strange 2 to be there for the fourth, well, the final episode. Or I can just wait a bit, I don't know, try and do it at the same time. I'm not fast, I'm flexible, I'm, I'll be happy playing whatever I'm playing. <laughs> um, but obviously with what I've just mentioned, one of the games I'm very much looking forward to is coming out on the 8th of November, which is Death Stranding. Um, I've kind of been avoiding like the gameplay and stuff of it, I've seen a few trailers, but other than that I'm going to be going in Completely blind, because that's how I enjoy games most, of going in and figuring things out and seeing what the heck's going on without having seen loads of footage and stuff. So that's going to be a fun one with the uh, Norman Reedus in it. 
big fan of him, so I will very much be uh, fangirling without, you know, squeeing and stuff. <laughs> be quiet, subdued fangirling. Um, but I don't know if my, I'm, I'm hoping it might turn up like a day early, because then I can record on the 7th. That would be great, because I have the 7th off, so if it comes out on the 7th, I can record on the 7th and start things going. Um, but I don't know, because it's a big title, it might not ship early. But the place where I buy my games from does tend to ship early. It's a little bit naughty, but I love it. Obviously, <laughs> because I get to play things a little bit earlier, so it's not bad for me. Um, I don't think there's actually, other than Life is Strange 2 and Death Stranding, anything else that's kind of coming out this year that I'm looking forward to, or that I have access to, because there are some games coming out, but they're not necessarily in the consoles I've got. There's obviously a lot of other games that are coming out, but not ones that I'm hugely kind of pushing to play at the moment, like there's just things I kind of like, eh, I'll play it at some point. Um, there's loads of games next year, tons of games next year, but this year it's just a bit sparse now. I suppose we're at the last two months of the year, so there's not going to be much left, but yeah. Um, I think that's probably enough of a babble. I've just realised the lighting's really bad in here because it is four o'clock right now. Um, and I'm recording this a bit later than I was intending to because I had to go out earlier. So I didn't get home uh, until, well, half three. So <laughs> I went out at half ten, got home at half three. I was like, well, there's all my daylight gone. So <laughs> it's crappy light at the moment, I'm afraid, sorry. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in and say hi and have a bit of a babble. Ungame related, or not ungame related, but ungameplay y. And just say hi, how's it going? Sorry for the lighting. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. There's probably a lot more I could say, but this is already like uh, 10 minutes or so long, so I don't want to keep you guys kind of stringing along with my just man random babble fest, so. Um, happy October, everybody. It's now over. We're entering the last two months of 2019, which is ridiculous because, you know, this year has gone so fast. It's just crazy. Not bad though. It's been an alright year, I think. A few crap things we can go on in the world in general. <laughs> what a surprise Brexit didn't happen today. Anyone shocked? I'm not shocked. I'm not sure the Brexit's ever going to happen. I think it's just going to keep getting pushed back and pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. But we'll see what happens in January. We might get an extension for two years. <laughs> Bloody British politics. So, yeah, that's it for me, I think, today. Um... Thank you again, obviously, for the support and coming to say hi and keeping me company on the channel. I really, really appreciate it and you guys all rock. So I hope you're well and let me know what you're up to. I'd love to hear from you. So see you next time. <laughs>